Hello and welcome to the Business Whisperer podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Adila Rafiz, the global business whisperer. If you are wondering how to create a life in business that is intuitive, authentic, and successful, that is exactly what we are here to help you do each and every week, where we bring you episodes, interviews, tools, tips, everything that you are looking for to help you realize that the most important ingredient in your business is you, and listening to the whispers of your intuition, your gut instinct. It has helped me create a business beyond my wildest dreams, and I'm here to now help you do the same. So if you are ready to download some of this business whispering magic into your life and business, stay tuned because you're in the right place. Hello and welcome to the Business Whisperer podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Adila Rafiz. I'm a facilitator, practitioner, the founder of the Life Whispering Institute and my modalities, which are called body whispering, business whispering and baby whispering. So today I wanted to start to talk to you guys about What is it that you are going to be looking ahead to in 2023? And especially for those of you who are in the same industry as I am, for those of you who are healers, practitioners, even coaches, those who are in the healing industry, coaching industry, uh, basically the empowerment industry, whatever road you choose to empower your clients and to create change. What is it that you are starting to look ahead to for 2023? Are you thinking about it? And what is it that's going to start getting you out of business survival into business thrival and really into CEO mindset rather than just being a business owner? They're actually two very different mindsets. And as you become CEO focused, as you start to become and function as the CEO in your business, which also then starts to translate into thinking about and being the CEO in your life, there's quite a few changes that you'll start to notice. When you're a business owner, one of the biggest things that I noticed was there is many, many years, you know, as a practitioner, for those of us who've come from the healing industry, Because income can be very inconsistent, income can be scarce, we can have all of those healing wounds that we know about um, and that we talk about in all of the work that we do when it comes to money, when it comes to charging for the work we do, when it comes to believing we can have it all, that it can take a long time to get out of living and surviving week to week, month to month, year by year, to actually start to look at things from a really long-term view, to start shifting into what we call legacy mindset, CEO mindset, empire mindset. Which brings me to talking about one of my very favorite topics, which is building your own empire. When I first started talking about this, when I first started Um, I actually have a program and we're starting the next round of it next year, but the Build Your Own Empire Mastermind Coaching and Training Program was the very first time that many people had started to even consider that building an empire was possible for them, as opposed to thinking about, okay, am I making enough money to pay my rent, meet my expenses, do all the things I need to for my business and for my life? To start to think about, okay, do I have enough in savings for one month, two months, three months? Do I have enough money even to go on holiday and to not be working as a business owner and not feel consistently like I need to be on, I need to be available, I need to be there for my clients without being able to have a true holiday? How many of you guys know what it's like to be on a holiday but still be checking your emails, still be taking client calls, still be trying to fit in the things that you have said you will do or follow up on for clients and you feel like you can't really switch off. And this is also one of the things that creates burnout in our industry because we are owner operators. We, if we don't work, we don't get paid and we often have never been taught Even though we preach and talk and teach about healthy boundaries and and mind, body, life, energy, balance all of the time, a lot of us don't practice what we preach. And you put that together with scarcity or the lack of business acumen 
that most practitioners, healers, coaches have because you may be amazing at what you do, but you've never been taught how to run a business. You put those two elements together, financial stress and a lack of boundaries, and this is why so many people get burnt out. So as you start to make this switch into thinking, okay, what would it be like if not only was I able to have a business where I could have breaks, where I had holidays scheduled in, where I had a team I could delegate, but it wasn't even a question. There was no doubt that two years from now, 10 years from now, even 20 years from now, my business exists, my business is thriving, and it has created legacy in the industry. It has actually created a global impact or a large impact. You don't have to be thinking globally if you're community-based or you're face-to-face -face in your local community. But when we change people's lives, when you impact one person, you then impact their whole life, their whole world. So we are having global impact because when you improve one person's life, that person then goes on and it has a ripple effect into how they communicate, how they interact and how they then proceed in the world with their family, with their friends, with their work, with their community. And so no matter how you think of yourself, whether you think of yourself as a one-on-one -on -one practitioner, healer or coach, or you're already looking ahead to having global impact, having clients from all over the world, working with businesses, working with other business owners to start to increase that impact. You are someone who's able to really start to look ahead and believe that that global impact, change and financial success is possible for you. And if this is something that you have either never thought about or you you're not actually sure if you want that you know you might be saying Adela I don't want to be working 20 years from now <laughs> I don't necessarily want to be working or working as hard as I currently am 10 years from now or even five years from now and I hear you but this is where scaling comes in this is where we start to really well, we need to start to understand, and I think a lot of practitioners do not, and I'll go into that in another podcast episode around um, the trouble that practitioners have scaling their businesses. But what you have to understand with the scaling model is it's not about working more and working harder for more money. It's about working smarter. It's about scaling your systems, scaling your team, scaling your processes so that you can actually impact more people while working, actually not even the same amount, actually working less. Being able to delegate, being able to have teams, being able to have staff so that your impact continues in the world, but you are not working yourself to the bone. In fact, what are the systems that are available and what are the possibilities that exist in your business for passive income, for affiliate marketing, for income to be coming in from different ways? What are the opportunities that you haven't even considered? And potentially, what's even an exit strategy, if that's what you want to be thinking about for the future, that will still allow you to build an empire? And this is a huge shift from where I started from, this thinking and this mindset is often very far away from when we start out as sole traders, sole practitioners, uh, people who are only thinking about themselves as that one man band. So I wanted to start today's conversation around, hey, have you even considered that building an empire is possible for you and available to you? And then secondly, apart from how that would benefit you, have you ever thought about how scaling what you do and making it more viable and successful would actually benefit the world, benefit your clients, benefit people that you hadn't even thought of being able to help? What would it be like for you to double, triple, quadruple that's actually still small what would it be like to 10x your income what's it going to be like to start thinking about the hundreds of thousands 
the millions, the multi-millions of dollars of revenue and income that could be possible for you and your business. And that wraps up another episode of the Business Whisperer podcast. Thank you so much for joining us. Your support means the world to me. Now, as always, if you found value in today's episode, do me a favor and share it with someone who you know would love this information or leave us a review so you can help other people find this podcast too. Wishing you so much success ahead. And as always, remember, keep following the whispers.